Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Bruiser here. Today's video, we're going to get right into some primal shard pulls. Today is the best day to pull for primal shards because we have a boosted 2x chance today on primal shards on epic, legendary, and mythical champions. So in the past, it's been boosted chance mythical only or legendary only, but this event shows all boosted. So it's the best time to pull your mythicals. I got 7 on my alt and 10 on my main. Um, I'll also break down what my plan is going into this uh, Deck of Fate event is. I have decided to actually complete this Deck of Fate event. Um, and I'll show you guys the breakdown of how I plan on doing that on both accounts. Alright, so here is a picture of both my accounts laid out in what I want to do for the point breakdown to complete the 40,000 point deck of fate event so i assume that i will need to pull 40 cards but maybe i'll get lucky and i'll pull 38 or 37 cards um but either way i'm gonna try to plan for the worst case scenario here so on my alt account i'm gonna be pulling 50 ancients 10 void shards and we'll be pulling that on the 30th on the 30th it's gonna be the uh, krizia trenda herndig uh, 15x progressive event so we'll be pulling for that we'll be pulling the promo shards today seven on my alt so that's today Sacred Shards, I'm going to be pulling 10 Sacred Shards on my alt for the 31st. This is during the 2x uh, boosted chance for Sacred Shards. There's no progressive or anything like that on Sacred Shards, but on the 31st, there is a 2x Sacred event. So definitely the best chance for your Sacred Shards on that day. For my main account, I'm going to be pulling 50 Ancients and 40 Voids on the 30th for Acrisia and Trunda and Herndig. Um, for the primals, I have 10. I'm pulling those 10 today in this video. And for the sacreds, I only have two, but I'm going to pull two on the 31st because I don't want to commit more void shards to the um, to the 30th just because sacred shards are worth a good amount of points in this event. So I want to use them up even though I only have two, which leaves me maybe a bit strapped if we have a fusion coming up in January. But I mean, we'll tackle that when we get there. Um, in terms of energy spending, I fully anticipate a high energy spend for the next couple of days because of these dungeon events. As well, there's a tr Tormund training event actually set up um, right now. So I'm going to commit energy during the Ice Golem event. Um, as well, Fire Knight uh, will have 3x Savage and it's going to start um, during CBC. So CBC will have active... 3x savage event for fire knight and this deck of fate event will still be active so i'll probably be spending energy there in fire knight um i am going to spend more on my main just because i have a bit more gems saved up and then um spend less on my alt so this are these are kind of like the breakdowns i have for my account so what to look out for in the next couple of days for me but let's jump into the primal shard pulls hopefully we get lucky that'll be so massive let's jump into it all right, so on my alt, we got seven to go. Currently, we pulled 21. We got nothing. Um, so yeah, this is just a quick look at my mercies so far. So my voids are actually built up quite a bit. So I, I should be spending maybe more voids to try to get the... Um, uh, I, there's no boosted chance or anything right now, but I'm, I can definitely save up all my voids and throw them all in to a um, you know good 15x or a void champion I want. But Krizia is obviously very good, so I don't mind spending it there if I were to hit a Krizia. Um, so yeah, let's pull the primals here. We got seven to go, so collect. All right, so only seven here. Let's see if we can get lucky. The odds are obviously not super good, but 2% chance of legendary. Let's go. Okay. Geomancer is the one that I'm missing on this account. Fate Cookies. I couldn't have come up with a better name than Fate Cookies. No thanks. Let's go. Come on. Boosted rates. Show me what boosted rates mean. More blue. More rares. Come on. Show me those boosted rates. Nope. 
Okay, so at least we know that Plarium will do these type of events for Primal Shards. So the boosted 2x chance all across the board. So we can definitely save up the Primal Shards for these types of events in the future. Totally a bunch of nothing. So uh, still got a bunch of rares. We got like three epics. But yeah, big, big bunch of nothing. You know what? I'm also... Oh, did I collect my Prism Shards? Hmm. Oh, you know what? Clarium got pretty smart. Since the um, summon pool event hasn't ended yet, still 24 hours, one of my events, um, one of my events had, I guess, 10 crystals and it had expired. So the rewards went into my box. So in the past, um, whenever the event ends, my rewards would go back into here. But then there'll be no summoning portal active. So I don't know if Plarium did that deliberately. But um, anyways, we'll summon a Prism Shard here. This won't do anything for the Deck of Fate. But for the video, and it's going to auto pull anyway. So you can't really save it beyond this because the pool is still active. So let's pull, three, let's pull the Prism Shard here. For the video, see if we can get lucky. Nope, no luck. But it is what it is. Let's hop on the main account and we'll move on. All right, on to our main account here. So this one's going to be the one that's going to be more important. We got 10. We got 10 primals here. So let's cash them in. This one I do more live arena battles and stuff. So I'm going to get more of the monthly allowance of primals coming in. Um, so yeah, I got 10. 10 pops here. And then also we're going to pop the prism because like i said the event ended and then the prism reward went into my stash here so let's pop 10 oh i can pop a 10 pop oh my goodness i mean might as well for the video let's go oh damn i'll be right back okay we're back with more space let's go okay 10 pop let's go come on come on come on come on come on hands off the wheel let's go nothing here so brutal imagine yeah <laughs> so brutal i don't know what to say i mean you know it's only a two percent chance right it's only two percent chance of legendary one percent chance of mythical so we're going to be seeing lots of those type of pulls until we have the mercy the mercy is going to be on the yeah here we go percentage chance per shard well i guess yeah but 200 summons that's going to take forever um, so like currently, for example, my mercy is at 35. I mean, 200 is going to be a long while. Anyways, let's pop this, uh, summon pool thing. Hopefully we get something. No, like there's no mercy on this, which really sucks, but, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Let's see if we can get something. Nope. Nothing. Jamail. Hey, Jamail can help somebody, not me, uh, but it can help somebody. <laughs> Anyways, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, this is all part of the plan. I'm going to go for the owl on both accounts. And I've already laid out uh, what I'm planning to do. So stay tuned for more uh, sharp pull videos this weekend. So have a good one. Hopefully you guys had some luck on your pulls. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Uh, it really helps the channel out. So I appreciate it. Happy New Year if I don't see you guys. And um, yeah, have a safe and happy weekend. Take care.